So Terry, how has Flexibus made a difference in your life? It's made a great difference in my life uh, because I'd have to go to Drogheda every week to get blood tests and that. And only for Flexibus it would mean walking three miles to get a bus of Carmel's and so it's a, it's a great... It's good. And you, take, you think so it, it make does a make a difference for the world transport? Necessity. In this day and age it's a necessity because not everyone drives and it definitely is needed more. More of it is needed. You know, it's brilliant. And you find that it keeps your, it keeps your independence on that? It keeps me independent and it keeps me in touch with people that I work with and that I can, I can go and meet them on, on a Friday for a couple of hours, you know, after getting to the blood test and, that, and it's brilliant. Yeah. So you get to meet new people every day as well? Of course, yes. You, you get to meet people, the locals of the bus on in and you, you get to meet people in the town down and that. You know, it, it, it's uh, great. It's great. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your so day. We've got Anne right. here who works in St. Colin Kells Nursing Home in Kells County Mead. How do you feel Flexibus benefits your residents? Flexibus benefits our residents in a, in, a, in a lot of ways. I mean, they're able to go out and they look forward to their day trips and they wouldn't be able to go anywhere if Flexibus service wasn't available to the nursing home and I'm sure to all other nursing homes. That's great. And um, rural um, transport within the rural community is very important also to your residents. It is, yeah, because if we didn't have the transport, they would be, you know, confined to the nursing home seven days a week, seven nights a week. And if a trip comes up, they all look forward to it and because they know Flexibus is there for their service. That's great. And it gets them out on a day-to-day -day basis, communicating with different people in different communities around me. It does, it does. It gets them that they can travel to a certain distance, you know, in time schedules. And people get to know the Flexibus and people get to know the service and the nursing homes. And, like, the hotels get to know like the Flexibus coming to the hotels. That's great. Thank you very much, Anne. Thank you. Sing I'm on the line. I'm sure in time he's dark with me in flight. I'll keep you on by my birthday night. And happiness and no proof that you're right. Because you're mine, I'll walk. Because you're mine, I'll walk. I'm just going to say, Nelly, how has Flexibus made a difference to your life? A very big difference. And I enjoy it immensely. <laughs> so you're glad that it gets you out on a day to day basis? It gets you out on a day to day basis? It certainly does, yeah. So you feel it's very important for transport within the rural community? Yeah. It's very important to me because it's the only transport I have. And it connects me at my house. Um, and I enjoy it immensely. Well, I go on it twice a week. I go on it twice a week. Very much. I'd be lost. I would be lost. Good That's great, Nelly. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. We've got Joe and Nula here from Dunshockland who use Flexibus. I just want to ask you, Nula, how has Flexibus made a difference to your life? It has made a great difference to her. Only, only for you wouldn't get out at all, like, you know. It's great, like, you know, when you, when you want it, like, you know, and that sort of thing. And Joe, um, how, how important is transport within the rural community? Oh, great, very great. They're very nice people, they're very great. And bring me everywhere I want to go. They're very great people. Textbooks are very great and everything. I love that. That's great. So it gets you out, ladies, on a day-to-day -day basis, meeting you people within the community. Yes, yes. Great. Yeah. Very great. Yeah. And happy and enjoy myself, yeah. That's great. So so you feel Flexibus is a great benefit to your life and the community? Yes, yes. Very great. Thanks. You know, we hope we don't lose us. Like yes, please, God. So you're enjoying your day here today? Oh, very good. No, That's great, ladies. Thank you very much. Thank you.
a big crowd come in from there. You'd want to mind yourselves with them. Mona Cross. Aha. Uh -huh. And Helen, how are you? Anybody in my staff needs to know who Helen McKenna is because she's always ringing our office. And I won't say any more. Sisters are that, you know. Yeah, but you, you, yeah, you yeah, so you feel in general Flexibus is a very reliable service. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's very important. Uh, transport within the rural community is very important also. And then bingo and everything. I wouldn't get out to them places only for that, you know. So you're very happy with uh, Flexibus as a service? They're the best thing ever happened to us. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm speaking to Pat Milani here, manager of Navin Shopping Centre. Pat, how do you feel Flexibus benefits Navin Shopping Centre and the businesses within Navin itself? Well, of course, 
fact that the customers can get here is the most important thing. Um, I suppose, not to be offensive, because I'm in the brigade myself, but the great brigade seem to be the only ones with a few quid left in this de these desperate times. And we're very excited that they're able to come here every day of every week. Um, I think more importantly, to look at the social aspect of today and what that means. I've just been talking to a number of the, the, your customers and telling us how important it is for them to be able to get into town and to socialize and mix. So keep it going. I mean, this is one of the byproducts of the Celtic Tiger. Um, from our point of view as a commercial entity, it's hugely important to us that we have these visitors every week. And in recessionary times, you feel that it's it's keeping um, businesses on a day-to-day on -day basis, people coming in shopping on a day-to-day basis? Absolutely. Believe it or not, when I came in this morning, I was delayed. I was at a meeting with the local authority on how to develop business in the town. And there was a lady waiting for me. She's 84 years of age, and she had 210 euro that she wanted to purchase gift vouchers for the shopping centre. Now, that's essential business for us going forward, and we really need to keep that. So you feel funding is very necessary for the service to keep it going and even hopefully bettering the service also? Oh, absolutely. I mean, keep. I, I think it's tremendous. It's one of the byproducts of the Celtic Tiger, as I've said. I don't want to repeat myself. And it's one that should be kept because it's hugely important to these people who have given so much to our society uh, to allow them to give it back to our society now in their old age and, and spend their money here. So it is, it's a very important service. Hugely important service. Keep it going. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you very much, thanks. And as a drive for Flexibus, how important of a service is it for the community and to Navin Town itself? Yeah, very important. Um, there's people there that have no access to transport at all, they can't afford the taxis and that, and the need to get into the town for pensions and shopping, different things like there's that. There's an awful lot of people there that really appreciate the service. Um, and there's people there that I call to, um, they might only see a milkman, a postman and a bus driver. So so as a driver you feel it's, it's, it's a necessity for these people who avail of the service? Definitely, yeah, it is, yeah. Without it they'd be lost, they wouldn't be able to do their shopping, get their pension, their few bits and pieces, they really do rely on the service. And you feel, you feel so far the Flexibus is a huge success? A huge success, yeah. A huge success, yeah. I'm with Flexibus now two and a half years. And uh, all the people and everything, they, they really love the service and really appreciate the service. And they, uh, hopefully that will stay going and we'll be able to... Uh, you meet all different groups, active retirement groups, senior citizen groups. Uh, wheelchair users, people with disabilities. Yeah, you'd be talking to them on different routes and all that. Yeah. So every day is a different day as well, which is important in a job. Every day is a different day. You could be sent to Dublin. You could be sent anywhere around the country. Yeah, yeah. So you really enjoy it. I do enjoy meeting the people and all that. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you.